hello dear students now we are going to discuss about solutions and correlative properties this video i am adding for bsc 6 semester students now we are going to start with our new unit that is solutions and correlative properties first of all <coughs> i would like to explain solution solution is mixture of two or more components but it must be homogeneous must be homogeneous mixture of two or more components may be solution or may not be solution but if it is homogeneous Will be called solution. Like two components, three components, four components. But out of these two things, one is not solvent, and other is solute. Solute may be more than one, but one out of it is called solvent. Now. Going in depth. In case so variety of solutions, sometimes it becomes difficult to decide which is solvent and which is solute. Basically, we think that the substance which is in greater amount is called solvent, and which is in less amount is called solute. More amount solvent, less amount solute. Okay, solvent जो घोलता है और solute जो घुलता है. इस चीज को हम simply समझें. For example, if we take water and add some sugar in it, so sugar will be in less amount and water will be in more amount. In that case. Water is solvent and sugar is solute, but it is not not that much simple. Okay. Simply we say the component which is in more larger amount is solvent and less amount is is solute. One interesting thing is what we which we don't understand uh, don't. Uh, observe is what solute is always that component which loses its identity or phase for example water plus sugar it is solid after the solid after becoming solution no solid is there means whose identity have been lost sugar so it will be solvent and this thing but in case of solution of liquid liquid in that case solvent will be more amount and solute will be less amount okay then we are moving on uh, to our next thing that is concentration of solution the relative amount of solute and solvent the relative amount of solute and solvent tells us concentration means what amount Absolute is present in a given amount of solvent. This particular thing is concentration. Means relative amounts of amounts of solute and solvent. 
means concentration of solution is giving the information of the relative amounts of solute and solvent. Now there are various there are various terms which have been used to express the concentration of solution. First thing is volume percent. Second one is mass percent. This is also called volume, volume by volume percent. Volume by volume. Means V by V. This is called mass by mass percent. Mass by mass percent means W by W and the other thing is mass by volume percent the important are coming now the important terms are coming now are what molarity then molarity molarity next mole fraction and then parts per million and one thing is remaining that is normality <coughs> these all terms have been used to represent the concentration of solution but these all terms can be categorized into two categories into two types we can say two types means what some will be volume dependent and the other will be not volume dependent. This is volume dependent. This is not volume dependent. This is volume dependent. This is volume dependent. This is not volume dependent. This is. This term is not volume dependent. This is not volume dependent and this is volume dependent. So we can categorize these into two types volume dependent and volume independent concentration terms. The volume dependent concentration terms change by changing temperature but the volume independent concentration terms does not change by changing temperature. For example, I am taking molarity and molality. When we change temperature of the solution, its molarity will also be changed. When we talking about molality, molality will not change by changing temperature of the solution because by changing temperature, volume changes. That okay? So two types of concentration terms: volume dependent, volume independent. Volume dependent, volume percent must be volume dependent. Mass by volume percent must be volume dependent. Whichever volume dependent will be temperature dependent. Molarity volume dependent and normality volume dependent. These four out of these eight, one, two, three, four are volume dependent. Means temperature dependent. One, two, three, four are volume independent means temperature independent concentration terms these three are very simple and i am going to discuss in short and rest i will discuss in detail these are important for numerical point of views now in short i am going to discuss v by v percent v by v means volume percent v by v percent is equal to what small v over capital V in 200. Here small v is volume of solute. This is volume of 
solution volume of solute over volume of solution small b volume of solute and capital b volume of solution volume of solution now w by w percent means mass percent it will be given by small w over capital w into 100 similarly mass of solute over mass of solution mass of solute over mass of solution so simply we can say small w mass of solute and capital w is mass of solution okay then i am going to v by w by v percent sorry w by v percent means mass by volume percent mass by volume percent simply small v over capital w into 100 means this is volume of solute sorry this is mass of solute over volume of solution small w is mass of solute over volume of volume of solution this thing is simply are used to give the problem in numerical for example we will have a question like 10% mass by volume H2SO4 solution you have and calculate its molarity. So 10% means what? 10% W by V means 10 gram of H2SO4 is present in 100 ml of solution. 10% V by V means 10 ml of solute is present in 100 ml of solution. Each V percentage showing how much ml v by v means how much ml of solute is present per 100 ml how much grams of solute present in per 100 grams of solution like this this is just that much important you have to memorize these important formulas now i am coming on to the more important concentration terms which have been used in solutions that is molarity very simple so many students have various problems in this part of chemistry but it is very very simple so this term is represented by capital m and two lines you have to remember what number of moles present in 1 liter of solution number of moles present in 1 liter of solution like i am going to tell you in very simple way its unit is mole per liter mole per liter with the help of this mole per liter unit you can remember the definition of molarity molarity mole per liter mole means number of moles in 1 liter of solution means in one line number of moles of solute in 1 liter 1 liter of solution means the volume of solution must be 1 liter and number of moles present in that 1 liter solution will be called molarity of the solution for example i say i have 1 liter solution in which 2 moles of hcl are dissolved then molarity of the solution will be 2 okay molarity of the solution will be 2 so formula of molarity n by v n by v this v should be in liters volume 
This is number of moles of solute. This is volume in liter. This is volume in liter. Must be in liter. Number of moles. Number of moles of solute. And V is volume. Volume of solution in liter. Volume of solution in liter. Number of moles of solute over volume of solution in liter. For example, 10 moles of solute have been dissolved in 2 liter of solution. Then molarity will be what? 10 by 2 means 5. Molarity M is equal to 10 by 2 is equal to 5. And unit is mole per liter. Molarity will be 5 mole per liter. Is that okay? Okay. Samajar na? Okay. So, ab baat karte hai. Molarity ko ke formula ko thoda aur aage badhane ki. To molarity matlab आपका नंबर ऑफ मोल्स इन वन लीटर एंड एन इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू बाई एम फिर डब्ल्यू इज मास ऑफ सोल्यूट एंड एन इज मोलर मास ऑफ सोल्यूट डब्ल्यू इज मास ऑफ सोल्यूट एंड एन इज मोलर मास ऑफ सोल्यूट डेट ओके सो पुट द वे दिस वैल्यू ओवर हियर तो एन इज इक्वल टू W by M over V. W by M over V. This W by M, M will be here. So we can write molarity M is equals to W by M V. W by M V. Or we can write when in numerical generally this volume is given in ML. Numerical generally this volume is given in ml. Whenever this volume will be given in ml, you have to convert it into liters. So ml ko liter mein kaise badlenge? Ml ko liter mein badlenge by dividing with 1000. So this B will be divided by 1000. So that 1000 is coming over the above the, this can be written in this way, 1000 over m into v upon V upon 1000. This will be when when this volume is given in ml so this formula will be changed according to this m is equal to m is equal to 1000 w over m into v this v in ml volume in ml so this formula can be manipulated w is equal to m M V over 1000. M M V over 1000. This is very important formula. W equals to M M V over 1000. For example, we have a problem that prepare 500 ml of 0.5 molar molar solution of NaOH. How much NaOH will be required? कितना NaOH चाहिए होगा? क्या बनाने के लिए कि you have to prepare 500 ml of 0.5 m NaOH solution. You have to prepare. So question will be what amount of NaOH will be required? So this is you are going to use. W you have amount of solute you are going to calculate so small w so simply w is equal to m m v over thousand so this will, will be m is 0.5 m m is 0.5 m volume is 500 ml molar mass of any which is 40 so simply 0 0.5 into 40 into 500 over 1000 this is going to be 2 times this is going to be 
20 and 20 into 0.5, 10 gram, means 10 gram of any battery will take and they all in its volume will be made up up to 500 and it will be 0.5 and solution. In the experiment that is titration, we do the same exercise, we prepare standard solutions with the help of this formula, standard solution means solution of no molarity, normality or concentration, whatever. So, uh, in your practical experiments, you are going to prepare molar solution point n by 10 or n by 10. So, this formula is very, very important to there. Thank you. In the next video, we will discuss some more things. Thank you.